Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Katie, I live in sunny Florida and I make all Shop With Me videos. So like Shop With Me for seasonal decor at like Target, Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Walmart. We scope out all the hidden gem stores. So if you love home decor, interior design tips, anything to do with Target pretty much, Home Goods, you're definitely gonna love it here. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Today's video is so exciting. It is finally time for like the Studio McGee line for the summer and the Hearth and Hand line, which I have already shown you some of, but there's so much cute new stuff with like Opal House and Project 62 and all of like the deep rooted Target home decor lines. And we're gonna go over all of it today. We're probably gonna end up hitting up multiple stores. Normally with these types of videos, I film them over like a week or two so that I can make sure that I have enough time to find everything but all we have is the present. I just got back from a wedding in Arizona, and when we were there, I saw the most beautiful display of all the new stuff that they had out at the store, and I was so upset that I didn't bring my camera with me. Next time, I definitely will, because there's also a store called Living Spaces that they have out there that we don't have here in Florida. They're only on the West Coast, so I'm definitely gonna wanna bring my camera next time I go to Arizona, because I really wanna keep up with my Is It Better Than Home Goods like little series that I'm wanting to start. I did it with Old Time Potter. You guys loved that video and living spaces seemed like such an awesome store I know all of you guys that have it are gonna be like oh my god I can't believe you don't have it but it looked amazing like seriously so epic so I'm definitely gonna want to bring my camera next time but yeah I saw the most beautiful display of all the new stuff so I'm dying to get inside and I'm hoping that we can find it set up just as beautifully as I did back in Arizona but we have a lot to cover here a lot of brand new home decor to go and find so let's head into Target and let's see what we can find and I'm oh my gosh I'm just so excited and maybe stay tuned for a haul I don't know I saw a lot of cute stuff and I'm feeling pretty weak today so let's head into Target and hope I don't get into too much trouble let's go okay so this first Target has like the smallest home decor section not that it's like small but it's just not set up the same as my other targets so I just wanted to see what we could find here because I feel like people don't really shop here for home decor so I thought even though it's not the biggest um, it's the least shopped so that was kind of my mentality on coming here first I shop at three targets on pretty much a weekly basis, but I'm really excited. Let's see what we find. Okay, so this home decor section is pretty like understocked. Like it looks like they're getting ready to do the reset. I am excited because I found this box and I've been looking for this. I ended up buying the smaller one or one that looks just like it from TJ Maxx in a TJ Maxx video I did um, like a couple of weeks ago. But I still think this one will look really cute stacked on top because it's really, really similar. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and pick this up while I still can. Here is another new item. This is so pretty, this like little sage green jar. It is by Studio McGee and it is $15. I'm pretty sure there's like a smaller white one that's like more circular and like low profile but with the little wooden dot but these are beautiful and i love the color okay i feel like a lot of you are gonna be excited they are restocking these like white ceramic ones i have the donut version which is the only one that isn't restocked here and i will link everything down below by the way but these were super popular sold out super quick i'm kind of tempted to buy this one while i see it these are by project 62 by the way but i'm thinking that they're just going to keep restocking them these were extremely popular i feel like they went out of stock months ago and never came back until now so i'm super psyched to see that they have them back in stock so that a lot of you guys can have an opportunity to pick them up <gasps> a first hint at a new item these little blue vases are by Opal House. They're doing like this like blue and white little line that's like more bohemian and this is $10. More spring restocks. These are always super popular so I'm pumped to see that they are coming back. These are more Threshold by Studio McGee little vases and they have the big one and the smaller sized one. I do believe that this planter is new. It is the same color as that little one with the ball on the end. Stone gray planter threshold by Studio McGee for $30. It's honestly a great size and I love the color. It's like a grayish green color in person. Blue is definitely like a main focal color for a lot of the new summer lines. This pillow is super pretty. It is by Threshold and I just love like the little bird design with the tiny little dusty blue tassels. This pillow is super, super pretty for $25. They have this new Threshold by Studio McGee umbrella holder. It's like a cool toned wicker. 
you could honestly use this for so many different things you could use this for a planter for like a really tall plant like if it has a really long stem with the leaves at the top I've seen people do that and it looks super super pretty if you can fit the fake plant planter down at the bottom this is $35 and I feel like this is gonna be really popular this store has all of the old candles on clearance so if it was 14 now 10 was 19 now 13 so definitely check your stores for clearance because there's tons of hearth and hand clearance right now another example of clearance these pictures they look just like the studio mcgee ones but these ones are hearth and hand they look like the vases i just showed you this is on clearance for 7.49 so this is 50 percent off and then they also have this pour over coffee maker on clearance as well i always want to buy this for brian it's seriously so fancy and we drink a lot of pour over coffee and this is on clearance from 16.99 to 8.49 so 50% off as well I will say too I just talked to the guy that does like the reset here for home decor and he was like no girl we're about to put it out right now so they're kind of moving everything around he said that I could check at the other stores because today is the first official day of the reset which I knew so I'm hoping I find it, but if I don't, I will circle back here later. I'm not gonna like stand here and stalk them. I wanna give them like plenty of time and space and respect to do their jobs, but I'm really excited to like show it to you. I really hope I find one perfectly set up like I did in Arizona. But yeah, I do think that we're gonna get lucky today. Came over to this section. I'm still looking for this pineapple backpack. It says it's in stock at Winter Garden, which is perfect because that's where we're headed next and I really hope we find it. Fingers crossed because I really need this little pineapple backpack cooler. It's just so perfect. I need it. I found something I'm really excited to show you at the first store, so definitely make sure you stay tuned to the end, but now it is time for the next one. Target number two. Let's go. Let's hope we have better luck. Oh my gosh, this is like my home Target. I feel like they're super late to the dollar spot game, but I actually hadn't found these yet. I found this one and that one, but look how cute. Three dollars, such a cute little vase. It's like, um, it's not like a bud vase, but it's definitely not a full size vase. So kind of somewhere in the middle. And then also another thing that I wasn't really able to find were these leaves. I couldn't find this particular shape, so I'm really excited. I'm definitely gonna pick some of these up as well. Okay, I promise we're about to get right back into the home decor. But first I just need to go and see if they have that pineapple backpack cooler in the summer section, <laughs> please. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I see it. They have a bunch. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for this. So cute, so perfect for the beach. Oh my gosh. Come to mama. I'm approaching the home decor section and I'm really hoping we score. <laughs> okay, yep, we scored. Okay, yes, oh my God. This is what it's supposed to look like. Let's get down to business. Cause I'm like, okay, we need to focus. Let's get down to business. And then Mulan popped into my head naturally. I don't even know where to start. My brain is like, Phew. everything is so cute. Okay, we're gonna start at the front and work our way back. So over here is a lot of restocks. So stuff that we have seen from the spring collection and they are bringing back again for the summer. All of these items were extremely popular. So I'm not at all surprised to see that they're bringing them back. This bowl is adorable. I've always wanted to buy it like every single time I see it, but I just don't want to pay $25 for it. So maybe at the end of the summer, I'll be able to find it on clearance. Another item I really love is this like three organizer basket. This item is actually hearth and hand woven tray. It's super pretty though and I love the leather accents. I mean it totally goes perfect here and also this section is busting at the seams So this goes perfect right here, and I really really love this basket some new wall art from studio McGee It's super pretty. It is very very dark, but it's just some pretty wall art I really like like the cool toned minimal frame that they have and it's just resting up against this little like bed bench Which Brian and I really want that as well So the big piece of wall art is 75 and then we also have this one which is a little bit lighter But definitely complementary to the other one that I just showed you still has the dark tones But brings in more light and it is quite a bit smaller You can see that this one is a big square whereas this one is a smaller rectangle These new pillows are all super pretty like I said a lot of like blue tones across all of the different lines Blues and like these like sage greens. I'm really surprised they'll be great for like fall transitional but just surprised to see that this is what they went for for the summer spring they did a lot of like yellows and stuff but tons of blues as well and this matches that other pillow I showed earlier with the tiny little blue tassels here is another display I feel like a lot of this stuff is just spring restocks I'm pretty sure that we have this 
This I own, so I know that it's a restock. And then these really pretty sage green pillows. We did see this at the other store, but now it's all making sense because they've had these like stoneware gray items for the last few months. But now that I see all this summer stuff, it really ties it together because these felt really like rogue and out of place to me a couple months ago. But now that I see that they're bringing in more like blue greens and grays into the line, these items definitely make a lot more sense and I love them. I still love this jar so much. I feel like I need to buy it before I don't ever see it again because this is definitely gonna be a popular item but here's kind of an overlook of the different like color scheme that they are going for and I really like it speaking of that one oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh I found this one I'm obsessed special by studio McGee it is $15 for this container I'm just obsessed with like the little thing on the top the little ball I think it is adorable honestly it kind of looks like a tortilla holder, <laughs> which is going to be a really weird observation, but it's just a little container and just would be perfect for like layering and I just love it. So you're coming home with me, girl. You may remember from a few videos back that this item was a mystery. Well, it's still a mystery. I can't find it on Target.com. This is not the right tag. See how it says it is leather. There is no leather on here at all. I literally feel like someone bought this and then like returned it with a Target tag on it to get $45 back. I can't find it on the website. If any of you guys find it, definitely drop a link down below or send me an Instagram message because I am completely stumped on this magazine rack. Ah, so much more pretty stuff. So it's not even English, that's, I can't even think. So more of these vases. We did find this one at the other store, so it's coming in this like rusty like or dark blush color as well. So this is definitely represented because over here they have all the teals and then this is neutrals with like that rust or dusty blush color over here. So that's definitely the two colors that they are going for. They also have these which have been a huge topic of conversation all over Instagram. They are these like cheetah little bookends with the yellow in the ears. I don't know, blue and white has just really gone crazy these last few months. These are actually by Opal House and they are $25. I've seen a lot of chat about these. I really love them, but they don't go with my decor at all. Definitely let me know what you think about these down below in the comments. I think that they are super, super cool. They even have like a little design on the bottom, but they personally just don't go with my decor, so that's why I wouldn't buy them. More new vases. This one is like a taller one. It's really, really big. I, I Honestly, I feel like this would just be like decorative. I don't really feel like you could use it for flowers unless you got a giant bouquet of flowers. This is $30 and it is more of like a yellow color. I don't know if you can see it like compared to that. That's more of like an ivory or a cream. And this is a little bit more of like a pale yellow or like a very yellow ivory color. I don't know if you'll be able to tell here, but these are the exact same base, but the color varies a lot. So if you're going to order this item online, definitely be okay with the fact that it might be a little bit more yellow or it might be a little bit more neutral because these are the exact same vase. The vase only comes in one color, but definitely the color varies a lot. I just found this one behind this one and I was really surprised to see the color difference. It's kind of like the limestone knot. The limestone knot because it was like a naturally occurring rock. They all looked totally different. Some were super yellow, some were way more white and neutral so if you're gonna go for this item definitely make sure that you're okay if it comes in a more yellowy hue or neutral here is a pretty similar vase but this one is shorter and more round so like the opening is a lot bigger this one is $25 so $5 less than the other one just a little bit smaller this one is definitely taller so I feel like proportionally they're like the same if you kind of like stretch this one upwards but they have a couple different like shapes and sizes here I really like the ribbed texture that they have. These are extremely nice. I'm obsessed with this blue wreath. I don't really know what these are. If they're like a type of flower, I'm not sure. The leaves kind of remind me like of lamb's ear, how they're like a little bit frosted white. And there are a couple different types of leaves mixed into this, but I just love the little like blue balls on it. I think this wreath is super pretty. This wreath is by Threshold as well and is $28. This wreath is not new. This is from the Spring line. I actually got this when they had had the price glitch. They had this crazy price glitch where like the price didn't scan in, it, everything scanned in cheaper than it said on the tag. So I think I got this wreath for like $15 when it is originally $35, but it looks like they're restocking this for the summer and I love this wreath as well. It has these little like pink and green buds on it and I just think it's super full and pretty. This table is just so pretty to look at. It's so stocked and I'm just obsessed with how all this new stuff looks together. So this plant actually looks a lot like the wreath. It has the same like 
pink and green little buds on it and the same like light green and then dark green colored leaves. I love the pot that it's in as well. It is like almost like a linen looking stone. So it's no wonder why they are restocking the wreath for the summer because they're bringing in this new really pretty plant. It's also a great size. It's like not too big, not too small, but would be like wide enough to work on like a table if you needed like a little table centerpiece. This arrangement is also Studio McGee by Threshold and it is $30. A few new vase fillers. They kind of look like succulenty a little bit. This comes with nine pieces and it is ten dollars which is a great price and then they also have this one which Brian would love because it really really looks like succulents you get ten pieces again for ten dollars with that one this one is so pretty I do believe they have already had these vase fillers but they put them out because they are extremely summery these are the famous Genovian pears if you know you know <laughs> go ahead and leave me a comment down below if you know what I'm talking about with this one, you get six pieces for $10, but they are bigger, so they do take up more room. And then they just have some pretty white, like fake little petals and leaves, and you get six pieces for $10. So they might actually be like bigger whole bunch flowers or something, but it's kind of hard to tell in the box. Another look at these vases. We did just see this one at the first store I went to. I love these, honestly. I wish I could like incorporate blue into my stuff, but First of all, I'm not brave enough. And second of all, I have nothing with blue in it. Like the bluest thing I have is my fingernails. So I would just have to change all of my decor if I wanted to work something like this in. These vases are so cute. I'm obsessed with the shape of them. This is like a little short stubby one. And then this is more of like a medium sized one. Neither of them are big. I'm wondering if maybe online they have like a bigger sized one, but these are honestly beautiful. They have like the glaze on them, but then they left the glaze off of these little parts, which made the little like white teardrop shapes all in it. But these are honestly gorgeous. The big one is $20, or the bigger one, I should say. And then the smaller one is, again, $10. I love that they are stocking these, like, gauzy little throw blankets. You can also find these at Home Goods. I'm obsessed with this gauzy material. I've been buying a lot of dresses in this material because it's extremely breathable, which is great for Florida summers. But these throw blankets are honestly super pretty, and this one is $25. It is 50 by 60, which is just like a standard throw size. But if you are looking for like more colors and stuff, definitely check your home goods. Just so many more like pretty throws and stuff, tons of different throws. This one isn't like a very like comfy feeling throw. I think it's just more for looks. And this one is $30. Looks like they're gonna continue to stock these rope baskets. I'm obsessed with this like low profile white one. It's super pretty. You could definitely do it as like a center of a coffee table and then do like a fake plant, a place for your remotes, coasters, kind of like how I have, but just with this rope woven one. And then they have this bigger black one, which could be a great basket blanket or dog toys or something like that. Did I say basket blanket? I meant blanket basket. This new little floral pillow is so pretty. I love how it has like the sage and the mauve. They're honestly bringing together both sides of their collection perfectly with this pillow so you could definitely mix and match if you want. This is kind of like a lumbar pillow since it's more rectangular and it is $22. A few new plants over here. These planters are definitely new. They're a lot more warm toned than any of the other ones that they had in the spring collection. These are by Hearth and Hand and they are $19.99. Super green, little leaves. The camera is picking up the color pretty well. It's honestly making it look more green than it is in real life. And I do like how they did dirt in the bottom instead of like rocks or anything like that. Seems like they have a couple different sizes. I feel like this one's a little bit shorter, but maybe I'm just going crazy. It's definitely a very real possibility. <laughs> Checking out some of the stems that they have. I love this palm leaf stem for $5. I have a little basket that I was thinking about putting pompous grass in, but I think that maybe a mix of like pompous grass and palm leaves could be pretty cool. I feel like it's a good mix of like the almost like modern coastal bohemian-ish look that we're going for. And I don't know, I just really like this. And it's only $5. It honestly reminds me of like a bigger version of the ones I'm grabbing from the dollar spot. These blue hydrangeas are also absolutely gorgeous. You get a little bundle like this per stem with a couple leaves. This is also $5. I love this one. They have that in white as well, like white hydrangeas if you don't want the blue color. So also $5. And then whatever the heck this is, it's like a little, it honestly looks like an anemone if you ask me, $5. Super pretty. I'm obsessed with these stems that just go down like this. This is $5. They had something really similar at World Market 
for $10, so this is definitely a better value. If you have any sort of like bookshelves or anything, adding something like this that just drapes down over the rest of it just brings in these like really fresh spring and summer accents. This is a, such an easy and inexpensive way to like update a space like that and make it super fresh for the summer. Hidden over by these stems, they have some clearance like scent items. They have this white tea, lemon, and ginger candle that was 10 and is now seven, so it is 30% off. I really like the look of the jar, honestly. It's a really good like decor piece. It is by Threshold. It's one of those candles that honestly just looks really good on its own, like one that you don't necessarily have to light. I also have these little like scent stick things, which I've been wanting to try one of these. This is the cedarwood and moss scent, so I'll have to check over in the candle section to see if they have more because I don't really know what this one would smell like, but I've been wanting to try one of these really bad because I think they look pretty, but they also give off a ton of scent, and we all know how obsessed I am with my house smelling good. I feel like it's that anxiety you get as like a pet owner with like wanting to make sure that your house smells like beautiful and fresh all the time because I don't know I just feel like people are like oh they have pets and I don't know I don't maybe people don't assume that maybe it's just my own insecurity but I just really like my house to smell nice all right moving on another new item by Threshold Studio McGee is this wall mirror decorative braided hanging strap with brass knob hardware so it's like a round shaped mirror it's kind of hard for me to show you but it comes with this like beaded strap right here and then something to hang it on like a little gold little brass knob that you put into the wall and then you hang it over it. It is super, super pretty. This is a lot of restock plants from the spring, but honestly, this table looks amazing. I'm obsessed with the summer stuff. I definitely feel like they nailed it, as always. I love the Studio McGee stuff. So many pretty like baskets, pillows. I just think it is honestly decorated beautifully. Some more new Opal House items. I'm obsessed with these vases. This is like a hanging vase. It's just so pretty and neutral, but has like the really pretty like bamboo rattan accent. This is $20 for the hanging one. Then they have this shape, which is like more wide, and then it just kind of has like woven through these circles, which is so, so cool. And this one is $25. The tallest one is so cool. I do feel like I've seen stuff similar to this at Home Goods. But with Home Goods, I could tell you it's there, but it doesn't mean you're gonna find it here. I know that you guys will either be able to order online or check it out in your store. But I really, really love this one as well. And for the tallest one, it is $25. And here is an overview of the three different shapes. I'm obsessed. The pretty, pretty, like red, burnt red, almost dark blush pillows. Here's that exact same pillow I showed you in blue, but in this like burnt red color. It's like, a, not like a brick red. It's kind of hard to describe. Like these all go well together, but there are a couple different colors going on in here. And then they did create some pillows where you could kind of bridge the two colors together. We saw one over there. Here is another one. They have this cool wall hanging from Threshold. It is just like a little tie-dye print and then it does have these little tassels at the bottom. There's another wall hanging that I'm really looking for. It's like a macrame one. So when I find that, I'll definitely show you guys though. But they do have this pretty blue tie-dye one. And here are some more of like the blue pillows. So they have some like palm tree designs. These are more of like the little like bird ones and these ones are Opal House. But honestly, they did such a good job like putting all the different lines together where you can mix and match. There is a brand new set of hearth and hand beanbag toss or cornhole not sure what you call it where you live i call it cornhole and brian calls it bags so there's definitely a lot of different names for it but they have a really cute set and then it looks like in the back they have a spot where they hold the bags which is nice because i feel like these are very easily lost so it's great that they have a spot built in where you can keep them some new summer bowl sets i can't tell if these are i think they're metal but you get four bowls, they're just white with a little red lip on them, and you get four for $19.99. They're a pretty small bowl, honestly. It's not even like a cereal bowl, it's definitely smaller than that, but these are adorable. And then they have some little napkins that match it. Super, super summery. You get a four pack of these. They are machine washable, and like I said, you get four for $20. Some new Melamine plateware from them as well. More gray, neutral tones. They're definitely running with that, like gray, black, darker blue cool tones for the summer. I'm obsessed with these new flower sack towels. The peach cobbler one is so adorable for $3.99. Would honestly just look so cute right on like the railing of your oven. I think that would look adorable. The only one I see here at my store is peach cobbler. More of the new summer items here. 
They have these outdoor food domes. I have showed these a couple different times at Home Goods, but now Hearth and Hand has some as well. These are perfect if you do a lot of like outdoor barbecues to keep the bugs away. And you get one for $14.99. It's really nice. It has this little like wooden stamped little handle and it's just nice and metal. They have this adorable little canvas flag that just says keep exploring. Kind of reminds me of like up, like the wilderness must be explored and you get the flag for $16.99. They have this little like parachute, like that little parachute game that you'd play in school. So they have that for $14.99. They also have these really pretty string lights. They have kind of like a design on the string if you can see. You do get 10 lights. They are water resistant so you can use them indoor and outdoor. And you get the 10 lights for $14.99. We just put up string lights so 10 lights for $14.99 is actually not bad at all. We put up Brian really, really wanted Edison lights, so we ended up getting Better Home and Garden ones from Walmart, and I think it was maybe like 15 lights for $30, so 10 lights for $15 is a pretty good deal. So fun, looks like they're hopping on the adult inflatable pool. So they have just a black and white striped one. It honestly feels really heavy in this box, and this is $40. It doesn't say it's like specifically for adults. It just says ages three and up. So maybe if you're wanting a specifically adult one, go with the mini dip ones. But this one is very aesthetically pleasing. We don't expect anything else from Chip and Joanna Gaines, do we? But this is also a cool find because if you can't find any over in the pool section, maybe come over and check in the home decor section and you can score one of these. They have a beach umbrella, a six foot round tilt beach umbrella. There is a picture on the inside. Just black and white super classic for $40. I did forget to mention in my last video that this hook and ring game is only $20. I did look really heavily at our patio to see if there's anywhere we could put this, but we don't have anywhere sadly. I want this game so bad. I feel like this is such a good find, such good quality for only $20 as well. So definitely pick this up when you see it if you want it because you won't find it again. I've been sitting here staring at it and it seems like you don't need as much room as you think. I feel like we both thought this string was a lot longer because sometimes you can find this at a bar and they make the string extremely long so it's like nearly impossible to win so maybe I actually could make this work what are these oh bouncy ball just a good old-fashioned bouncy ball for $4.99 they have some new sprigs too this one is Florida vibes all the way with these mini little oranges and they have some like white flowers they also have some palm leaves these are definitely very very popular i think they just kind of have these spread out over here and over there but they ha just have the prettiest sprigs and i feel like five dollars is such a good deal they have this really pretty bocce ball set brian loves bocce ball this is 75 dollars. i feel like this is a pretty legit set i think they had this before and they brought it back but i just love this and i love that it comes in an embroidered bag and everything it's super nice some new wooden bowls oh my gosh this is heavy this is gorgeous it's just a little pedestal bowl this would look gorgeous on a counter with like some fruit in it they also have a little like salad bowl almost and then another little platter that matches that as well they also have like a bigger salad bowl so maybe like salad and then like fruit salad in this one just an idea this hanging plant up here caught my eye for $14.99 just a little artificial hanging plant but I feel like it looks really pretty the string isn't too long either and I love the basket over on this clearance end cap I found this woven striped quilt super super nice full queen size and it is 50% off it was $69.99 and now it's only $34.99 one last outdoor item I really love from hearth and hand is this giant drink bucket this is seriously huge kind of for an idea of the size there's my cart this is only $24.99 it's literally massive that's such a good deal my gosh you guys like i think we've done it i think we covered all of the new 2021 summer home decor i think that i got everything i'm just so proud of myself patting myself on the back definitely let me know down below what was your favorite thing i showed i did buy some stuff so let's head back to the car and i'll do a haul for you guys i have no self-control <laughs> i bought some stuff it's not all home decor but i figure you know while we're at it I'll just show you everything I bought so I'm gonna start with the first target so I only ended up having to go to two targets so I picked up this uh, studio McGee box like I said I did get one at TJ Maxx it looks really similar 
um, a big version and I really wanted the small version so that I could layer them and I kind of like that they're gonna be a little bit different um, this one having like the leather strap and stuff so yeah I picked this one up and it was $15 I'm really hoping that they're gonna restock these for the summer this was the only one I found at both the stores so I can't say if they are or aren't restocking them but they are restocking a lot of stuff from the spring line that was super popular into the summer as well okay then the only other thing I picked up from that Target was this little woven basket so i have actually found two of these so these are from the black history month line that they had in the beginning of the year and i've been lucky to find two of these now and the last one that i got was like brown because i'm doing a basket wall but i need smaller baskets this one is so perfect the other one i got is perfect too but this one's even more perfect but there were supposed to be salvaged so the first one i found at a different target and it wouldn't even ring up and she was like yeah like I don't even think we're really supposed to sell it, but I'll sell it to you. And I got it for like 70% off. Um, well, I found this one and it was ringing up full price, but then when she would scan it on her end, it wouldn't even show up. Um, but when you scanned it, like just at the register, it showed up at $15, but she gave it to me for 90% off. So I got it for like $1.50. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. Like I said, we're doing a basket wall and I just need like different size baskets and these little ones are such great quality and they're so nice. And yeah, I just am really excited that I got this for $1.50. That's all I got from the first Target. The second Target, that's where I went a little bit crazy. Okay, first off. Oh my gosh, I love this backpack so much. It is the Sun Squad backpack cooler. It does come in like watermelon as well as like a rainbow one. And then it comes in like this pineapple version. If this isn't your first video you've watched of mine, then you'll know a few things. I'm obsessed with pineapples. I hate terracotta. And also I'm obsessed with Target and Home Goods. But yes, pineapples are Brian and I's thing. You guys know this. I don't need to say it anymore. But if you're new here, it, this is, it's a thing. So if you subscribe, you'll see that we have a thing with pineapples. But they have this can cooler backpack. So it holds 20 cans, but you can put like whatever you want in it. It just like can hold 20 cans. I do have some food inside. I did buy some chicken, so I decided to put in the cooler, the shredded chicken. I got two packs of that, as well as a pack of the chicken meatballs. I really like their prepared stuff like that. That shredded chicken you can literally use for anything. We will put like buffalo sauce on it and put it on salads. We'll eat it like plain on salads. You can cook it with barbecue sauce and do barbecue chicken sandwiches. There's endless things you can do with it. Not the shredded rotisserie chicken. I haven't tried that one, so I can't vouch for that one, but the shredded chicken is so 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 good you'll find it up at the front by like the other meats like the jack daniels ones and like the dips and stuff it's like by the other prepared foods and it's by good and gather which is target's brand but that's what's inside the cooler and look at the cooler is it not the cutest thing you've ever seen i saw it that it was coming like to the line and i had the hardest time finding it i've been looking for it at every single target <gasps> But the search is over. I finally found it. It was $20 um, and I will have everything linked down below. I just, I'm in love. Okay, the other home decor thing I got was this little container. I just couldn't help myself. I just love the little container. I love the little wooden knob. I know I'll be able to like layer this on top of other stuff and it's just gonna look so cute. So I decided to pick it up. It's one of those things where you buy now, decide later. So you buy it now in case you don't find it again and then if you don't want it, you can return it and then somebody else can find it and buy it and be super happy. So buy now, decide later. Not exactly sure where I'm gonna put it. It's hard because I feel like right now I'm like out of places to put little things, but we literally have no furniture in our bedroom. So once we have like an entertainment center, nightstands, like I'll have so many more places to put stuff. So. By now, decide later. And and that little like container vase with the wooden knob was $15. And it's Studio McGee. Why am I having such a hard time like getting all that information to you guys? $15 Studio McGee, super cute. By now, decide later. Take it from me. The rest of this stuff is pretty random, but I feel like while we're at it, let's just go over what I got. Okay, so I got this. It is a rose quartz sculpting stone. If you've heard of, um, oh my God, it's called like, I don't even want to butcher it. I don't know if you guys have heard of gua sha. I might not be saying that right, but it is like a technique with these like particular stones that just helps like really like lift your face. I don't know, I saw a TikTok, I'm a sucker. So I picked up this stone for 10 bucks and you keep it in like the fridge or whatever and then when you put on your moisturizer or a serum, you kind of just like do these like very specific massaging, I don't know, motions on your face. I don't know much about it. I can definitely report back on it in a couple weeks if I like see improvements. 
but it always just feels so nice when you have like the cold stone and it really does help like it's like a lymphatic draining massage so it just kind of helps get like all I don't know like any of the inflammation out of your face and it feels super nice so I used to have like a roller so I'm really excited to try this so this is like the first random thing I picked up I don't know why this is the first thing I grabbed this is extremely random the next thing I picked up was just my moisturizer CeraVe PM facial moisturizing lotion I use this day and night everyone always wants to know my skincare routine I personally for me I am NOT a dermatologist I don't know your skin but for me less is more so I just use Cetaphil daily moisturizing cleanser and this and that's it I wash my face I put on moisturizer I wash my face super often because like 90% of the time I don't wear makeup so I'll wash my face like at least two times a day sometimes three times a day just depends but this is the moisturizer I use it, it doesn't have sunscreen in it don't come for me okay don't come for me they do have an AM version but this like skincare group that my sister added me to on Facebook says this one's the best so Maybe I should pick up the AM version that has SPF. Don't come for me. I also grabbed a thing of these like little protein shakes. Um, I just got back into going to the gym and it's just an easy thing for me to grab on the go. When I'm filming, it's super easy to get like chips when you're checking out at a store or just buying like really random stuff that I definitely don't need. So I like to bring like a protein shake. I am now obsessed with RX bars. That was like a whole journey. They really grew on me and now I'm obsessed with them. So I bring like protein shake, an RX bar, a Kind bar, any sort of like granola bar. I try really hard not to buy like little chips and stuff, but sometimes I'm tempted by the Cheez-Its at like Hobby Lobby or the Trail Mix in like the Target checkout section, but I'm trying to be better. I also picked up one each of these little stems from the Target Dollar Spot. They're $3 a piece for five stems and I just feel like it'd be nice to give a lot of my vases like a new look and just a little bit of a refresh. So I wanted to go ahead and grab one each of these. I just love the tropical look of them. They are super pretty and I feel like they're really good quality. I didn't find them before. I only found the other leaves that I didn't like as much. So I'm really glad that I finally found these. Then I decided to stock up on a few more little like um, facial little masks and stuff. When we travel, we like to do them and I like to do them a lot, especially before like weddings or whatever. And they're just fun to have around. Sometimes you just want to do a little facial. So I got these Yes to Cucumbers like two step eye kit. Um, we had huge bags under our eyes. We just got back from Arizona and I just happened to bring these little like bliss eye patches and Brian was obsessed with them. He's like, oh my God, it made such a big difference. So I wanted to grab these because we have another wedding in Dallas in a few weeks. So just in case I forget to get them, I was standing right there. So I was like, I'll just grab these. Then I just got like a little vitamin mask and another other like vitamin C bubble mask um, I just like to do masks they just they make me feel good okay so I keep my skincare really basic and then maybe like once every three weeks to a month I do a little mask like that we are down to the last item I picked up these little shorts from all in motion they seem like really breathable they're just like little running shorts they have a zipper on the back let me preface this by saying one I don't really run and two I definitely don't run in shorts these are just nice to like do errands in and stuff and they're just super comfortable to wear around the house as I mentioned in the beginning and if you're new here I live in Florida and right now it is 94 degrees outside so little shorts like this are my heaven and they're just like a really pretty like pale peach color I haven't tried these yet these are super new they don't even come up on the app so hopefully by the time I want to link these I can get a link for you guys hopefully I like them I haven't tried this kind before but the dressing rooms are still closed so hopefully eventually they open and there you have it that is everything I bought at Target today Alrighty, you guys. Well, that is going to be it for me today. If you love this video and you love seeing all of the new Studio McGee's, Project 62, Hearth and Hand, all those awesome lines, Thresholds, if you love seeing all of their summer decor and you haven't yet, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I'm going to want to do a 15,000 subscriber giveaway, so definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. Pretty close to 15,000 subscribers, or I'm getting there at least, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that and all my future videos. I will link some of my most recent videos down below like unboxing Target returns and the other summer decor lines that have come out from Target and all of the summer like swim lines and all of the fun little summer games and everything that Target has come out with recently. If you haven't seen those videos, I will link them down below. But that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys!